Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I hope everyone is doing well. So today we have a pretty little thing haul. I'm very excited because it is like an autumn winter transitional haul. Um, and I have done one of these a few weeks ago. I did a nasty girl haul. So if you want to see that, I will leave a link to it down in the description box. Um, but yeah, I got this really big bag from Pretty Little Thing. I got so many things and I'm very excited to show you what I got. So yeah, I'm going to be styling everything, showing you how I would wear everything. So if you do like this video, please do give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'm just going to get straight on with it. Oh yeah, by the way, my clips, like I don't know if I look really childish with my clips like this, but my hair right now my fringe i used to have a full fringe and i'm trying to grow it out and i just don't know what to do with it because it just it just looks awful right now so i'm leaving the clips like that i might look a bit childish but we're just gonna roll with it okay so i'm gonna get on with the first item okay so we're gonna start off with this gorgeous orange it's more like a peachy orange top it is called the orange corset mesh bardo top and it's got this gorgeous off the shoulder detail and also the mesh draping down the front and i love just how it goes down into like a little point at the bottom i feel like it's gonna look so flattering um, and really just make your waist look a bit smaller so yeah the back is like a normal top so it hasn't got the um, pointy bit at the back but I just think this would look so cute with a pair of jeans just for like a night out I feel like if you're going for like a casual drinks or a casual night out and you want to wear like a little nice top I think this is going to look so flattering on hopefully the sleeves you can wear on the shoulder as well because I'm not really sure about off the shoulder for me I never really wear off the shoulder tops I mean I could get into it I don't know we'll try it on and we'll see how it looks but I like first impressions I think it looks really nice it's not like too stiff as well like I feel like it's really quite stretchy which I love so yeah first impressions I love the color I love the draping on the front I also love how it's got that corset detail with the piping down the front center of the top which I think is going to make it look even more flattering on so yeah I'm excited to try this on and see how it looks it could be styled in so many different ways you could definitely grunge this up with a pair of jeans, maybe black jeans or blue jeans and a pair of boots and then like a black, either like a biker jacket or a black fur jacket. I think that would look really cute. But you could also obviously glam it up with a pair of jeans and some nice cute gold heels. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I feel like this is a contender for my Saturday night outfit. So I'm gonna try it on and see what we think. Okay, so I've just put this top on and I am honestly, so obsessed with it i don't think i've been this obsessed with a top in a very long while i think it is i think it is the fav my favorite top i've ever worn all year honestly i don't know i don't know why i'm just so obsessed with it. i keep looking at it like it's actually amazing like i just think the detail the off the shoulder it fits me perfectly it's not too tight but it feels like it's not gonna fall down I honestly think it is so gorgeous and I just know this can be styled in so many different ways. I've just chucked on my leather pants with it um, just if you wanted to grunge it up. But obviously you can wear it with a pair of blue jeans, black jeans, a little skirt. I think it is so nice. Like honestly, I just, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. I think it is so nice. I love this draping detail here. I love the corset detail. I love how it goes down into a point. I think it is so flattering. Um... I don't often come across tops that I'm this obsessed with, but honestly, I love it so much. Even the colour, like I don't really wear peach as a colour, but I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, if anyone would like this, I will leave a link to it down below because I honestly cannot recommend this enough. Okay, so the next thing I have to show you is so exciting. I honestly saw this on the website and I was like, oh my God, it looks way more expensive than Pretty Little Thing. And it is this suited two-piece. So I got the blazer and I got the pinstripe trousers to match and... I'm so excited to see how this looks on because I just know this will be so good for like workwear but you can also glam it up for an even look with a pair of heels. You can grunge it up throughout the day with a pair of Nike Air Force. So I'm excited about this one. Okay, so the trousers, oh my God, I love them so much. Okay, wow. Wow, these are so nice. Oh my God, I've wanted a pair of pinstripe trousers for so long and I love how they are going to be cinched in at the waist and then kind of like come out with like a paper bag effect but not with the belt i love trousers right that are like cigarette cigarette trousers but haven't got the paper bag tie up i just don't really like it it's not my kind of style but i love how these are literally just buttoned up there well it's not a button it's a little clasp um but these like honestly look way more expensive than what they were i think they were like 
25 something like that 22 maybe i'll link them down below if anyone wants to go check them out but i'm obsessed and i'm hoping these fit me and look nice on me um because they look so nice like i love all this little detail down the front so yeah i'll try them on and we'll have a little look how they feel on and then we've got the blazer okay so first impressions of the blazer i really like it i love how it's got the lining running the whole way through the jacket on the inside and it's got a button it's just got one button which i like i like i like blazers that just have the one button because i tend to wear them loose anyway i don't really do them up and it's also got the padding on the shoulders which i like so that will give it more of a fitted feel to it it feels really nice it doesn't feel too thin but i don't really like blazers that are too thick anyway so i'm just gonna pop this on over this oh i love it just looking at it there it just I think it's gonna fit me really nicely. I even love this detail here. It's not an actual pocket, but it's got the, you know, it looks like a pocket. I just love it. I love smart blazers at the minute, honestly. I think they are the coolest thing. So I'm gonna try this on and show you how I would style it. Ooh. Okay, so I've just put on this two piece and I think it is so, so cute. I'm not sure if I would definitely wear it with the roll neck. Like if I was going for more of like a work suit vibe, I definitely have on just like a little white crop top without a roll neck, but I don't actually have one. So I just put it on with this roll neck. Um, I think it does look all right. The blazer fits really nicely. It's really nicely um, fitted on my shoulders because it's got the little shoulder pads in, which I love. It just drapes really nicely down on me. I love the little pinstripes. I've been after a pinstripe suit for so long. And do you know what I actually love? Because this blazer, I don't have to wear with the trousers. I can wear with jeans. I can wear with leather look trousers. I can wear with a skirt. Um, you can even get like another pinstripe style skirt and put it with it and um, so that's why i love getting like two pieces like this because as well with the trousers you can match the trousers with pretty much anything like any black white cream any sort of top um even like an oversized hoodie or something just slouch over it would look quite cool so yeah that's why i love it so much i'll show you the trousers in full Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but the trousers, I haven't got any shoes on, but these are the trousers in full. And they're just really nicely fitted on my body. There, I could have probably done with a smaller size because I have got that much missing, but they actually sit on my waist quite well, which I quite like. I love that it kind of like comes out a bit here. It's got all this kind of like detail. It's got pockets as well, which I love. So you can get photos like that and just strut around like that. Um, so yeah, very impressed with this. I think if you're going for like a smart blazer suit kind of vibe i would definitely recommend this um so yeah i'll leave a link to it down below if anyone wants to go have a little look oh you've also got little belt loops for a belt which is cool so yeah loving this okay so next up we have a cute little chunky roll neck i love roll neck jumpers i just think they're so cute but also so casual and they just keep you so warm and they look really trendy um, obviously like you don't even have to wear scarves and stuff in winter I hate wearing scarves like I wear them because I have to wear them not because I enjoy wearing scarves I just think I've never found a scarf that I really like so I tend to go for roll neck jumpers so that it keeps my neck warm and it means I don't have to wear a scarf like I have a green scarf that I'm like forced to use because I need to keep warm but I don't like the scarf and I just feel like it ruins my outfit so that's why I buy chunky roll necks I should probably invest in a scarf but um I don't know, I just don't really like them personally. Um, so anyway, onto the roll neck. I just think this is really cute. It looks very cropped. I'm not sure how this is gonna fit me, but it's gonna look quite trendy. Like I love wearing oversized jumpers and stuff, but I do feel like I need a few cropped ones. So yeah, this can obviously be worn in so many different ways. I have such a vibe for this with like a cute little check skirt. I feel like that would look so cute. Also with jeans, leather look trousers, pair of boots, pair of white Air Force, and then with like a little trench coat over it. Literally any coat goes with a white roll neck jumper, I swear. Every coat I own goes with a white roll neck jumper. So that's why I invest in a few of them every year. So yeah, love this. Hopefully it looks nice on. Okay, so I've just put this jumper on and I think it is so, so nice and flattering on. I love the roll neck. I love how it's cropped. It makes it look so flattering. And I just feel like because it's white, it just goes with so many different things. You can wear it with these kind of like straight leg or check trousers, with black, with white trousers, with blue jeans, um, any any kind of trousers or like high-waisted skirts would look so cute with it. So I've just put it with this beret as it's like obviously autumn, winter, and I just love wearing berets in the winter. So yeah. 
I'm really impressed with it and I think it was only like £15, something like that. So yeah, really good price for what it is. Okay, so next up we have a trench coat because I'm obsessed with trench coats, honestly. I have had so many trench coats throughout my life and this one I thought was really cool because you've got the balloon puffy sleeves. It is quite creased so I think I'm going to have to give it an iron. Um, but I just really like the print of it. I thought it was a really nice like neutral print. I'm so into like neutral colours at the minute for winter just because it will make layering so much easier if I have all the sort of like whites and the browns and the nudes and the creams. I feel like all those sort of like neutral tones are like perfect for autumn winter so yeah i bought some jumpers that will go under this as well so i'll show you that in a second but i just thought it was really cute does it come with a belt no does it not have a belt oh my god it doesn't even have a belt oh okay that's a bit annoying <laughs> that is kind of annoying that it doesn't have a belt because i love oh no it has a belt it has a belt it's okay it has a belt <laughs> I was just thinking, oh my god, I don't, I hate wearing trench coats without a belt, um, because obviously the belt will like cinch you in at the waist, but we'll try it on and I'll show you how I would style it, definitely with a pair of jeans and trainers or jeans and boots, something like that, um, with a little roll neck underneath, but yeah, thank god it has a belt because I hate wearing trench coats without a belt. Okay, so I've just put this trench coat on and I'm obsessed with it. I think it is so, so nice. I've just put it with that white roll neck and then some leather pants. I love the balloon sleeves. Like, honestly, I think it's such a nice detail. It just makes it look way more trendy and just a bit different to all the usual trench coats. I'm obsessed with balloon sleeves. Like, I wear them in, like, tops. I wear them in dresses. Um, and I just love this. Honestly, I think it's such a nice print as well. Um, the only thing I will say is it is so thin, like literally, it's like a really thin material, which I don't really mind because I'm going to be wearing roll necks underneath, and I guess you couldn't really create the balloon sleeve detail if you was to have a thick coat, if you know what I mean, but obsessed with it. I can't remember how much it costs, but it will be linked down below. Okay, so this is the trench coat in full, and I just love it. It comes proper quite low, like it's quite a long coat. Um, but I love it so so much. I actually love that it's really thin because I don't really feel like I've got it on But I can really feel like my roll neck and I'm just gonna be wearing these kind of like trench coats over roll necks anyway Um, but I just think it looks so fashionable and so stylish Um, especially if you pair it with like a little baker boy hat or a little beret Or even like a bucket hat or something like that if you're going for like a more street style Trainers kind of vibe. So yeah, honestly obsessed with this. I I'm so glad I bought it because I'm gonna get so much use out of it, so yeah. Okay, so moving on now, I'm gonna show you this gorgeous corset top that I have. Corset tops, like, I feel like I have not taken notice of at all. Um, I've been seeing them all over Instagram, but I've never been like, oh, I wanna buy one, but I've seen them all over Instagram. I've just never, like, it's never clicked that it's been, like, a massive trend. So when I saw this on Pretty Little Thing, I was like, oh, I actually really like this corset top. And I really wonder how they suit me because I've never really worn one and I don't really know because the straps are quite thick on a lot of them that I've seen and yeah so I'm going to try this on and see how this fits on but first impressions I really like it it is like a satin material and I love how it's got the black and the white contrast I feel like it's going to make your waist look slimmer and it's also got the zip detail down the front which I like it gives it more of like a cool and edgy look to it okay so I got mine in a size 8 which is my usual size so I'm hoping it does fit but I love these corset detail tops. I feel like these are so easy to style up with a pair of jeans or even like a leather jacket or something over the top of it just to make it a bit more grungy. Wear it with a pair of like Doc Martin boots or even with trainers. I don't think I would wear mine with trainers personally. I think with because it's like black and white, I think I would try and grunge it up a bit. Um, or even with a pair of heels for a night out, I think that would look really cute. So yeah, I love this and I'll try it on and see what I think. Okay, so this is the top on and I love the fit of it. I think it's so nice and it looks really flattering. When I look in the mirror, it looks like you've got the illusion of a smaller waist, which is what the black and the white contrast does. I love the zip going down there. The only thing is, is these straps are too big. Like, are they meant to be like that? I don't think they are. I don't know. I just think it looks a bit weird and they're a bit loose on my shoulder. Um, so yeah, they are just too big for me, the straps. Um, and they're not you're not able to adjust them, which is kind of annoying. They just keep like, you know, if you're just standing like that, they just keep like falling down, which is kind of annoying because I would have kept the top if the straps were like fitted me or if I could adjust them. 
um, because yeah, if you look at the back, like you can't adjust them. So kind of annoying. That's the only downfall to this top, but I do love it. Like I do just love the corset detail there. And I think I'm gonna have to look online, see if they've got any different corset tops because I just think it does look really nice and flattering. Um, and obviously it's just so in trend right now. So yeah, the only downfall is the straps. I mean, I guess you could, I don't know, like now it looks, it looks all right like that, but I don't think it looks as flattering when the straps are like that. I think like it looks better when it's like that. It just kind of like brings it all together. So yeah, kind of annoying, but I mean, you could buy it and see if the straps fit you. It might just be like, I have like weird shoulders or something. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to some knitwear now because I've been after a cute little cardigan that's quite thick for a long while. And I saw this on Pretty Little Thing and I was like, that looks so cozy. And honestly, even just going like that, I'm just like, I feel like I've got a blanket over me. I'm so excited to try this on because I just need some knitwear that's gonna keep me warm and cozy. And hoodies, like some hoodies, I've got this hoodie from H&M and it is cozy, but I bought it a few months ago and it's already lost its like coziness to it. So I was like, I need some nice knitwear that's really gonna keep me warm. And cardigans just look so stylish and on trend at the minute. So I'm very excited to try this on. I love also that it's not like cropped because even though this could be something that's like really trendy and I would get like a cool Instagram picture in, it is something that I want to wear for practicality and it's something that you can wear to work um, and you also look stylish because obviously cardigans are so bang on trend at the minute. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really buying this to look stylish, I was more buying it to for the practicality just to keep me really warm and cosy when I'm going to work or meetings or whatever. So yeah love that okay so i've just put this jumper on and i am obsessed with it it's so cozy i haven't got a top on underneath the one thing with me is when i wear things that like i want to be cozy and like joggers and things like that i am like i need to make sure that it's cozy and it's not itchy um i could never wear a jumper that was itchy like i would just take it straight back because I hate itchiness like i live in my pajamas so when i want to wear things like this out i need to make sure that it's, it's cozy and it's warm and that is definitely what this jumper is it goes really nicely with these leather look jeans as well which is quite cool and you could also wear it with blue jeans black jeans even with like a cute skirt if you wanted to like doll it up a bit um you could wear like a little black check skirt or something like that i think that would look really cute so yeah there's plenty of ways that you can style it and it's really flattering on like it doesn't look like you're wearing like a granny jumper it looks like you've got a stylish cardigan on okay so i've just put this jumper on with this cute little outfit i've got my little tommy hill figure bag here and a little bucket hat just because i wanted to show you a different way of how i would wear this jumper um so yeah this is a very casual look but definitely something i would stick on with any kind of like black or even like my white or my pink like jacket you could wear this with anything really um but i just think a bucket hat just really adds to an outfit and even though this is quite a cute little cardigan i don't think it like i don't feel like you would usually put a bucket hat with it but i think it goes quite well so yeah love this outfit Okay, so I'm just going to show you a different way that you can wear the jumper because these jumpers, I just feel like when you get it in like a grey or a cream colour, you can definitely style it up in those different ways. So I've just got this outfit on that is actually from Nasty Gal. Uh, this jacket is from Nasty Gal. I just wanted to show you that you can wear it with like a few different colours. I wanted to get it so that I can mix, it, mix and match it with um different sort of like colors and textures in outfits so yeah i really like it against this outfit i think it looks really cute and i love how the gray just like pops through the jacket it goes really nicely even with some like check trousers and with my green beret i just think it looks quite cute together so yeah i thought i'd show you a different way of styling it okay so the next thing i have to show you guys is actually something i've already shown you but just in a different color because i put these little jumpers in my basket i put one in red and i put one in oh and i put one in the gray color so obviously this gray one that i showed you earlier um i actually saw the red one first and i think i do prefer the red i don't know but i was meant to take one of them out i was meant to you know when you get to your basket and you've got loads in there and you're like i actually need to take some of this stuff out because it's like 900 pounds no i'm joking but it's like you know when you've got so much in there and you're just like I need to take some stuff out so that's what i do i put it all in my basket and then i get to the end and i take some stuff out i forgot to take one of these jumpers out so ended up with both of them um 
I don't know, we're going to try it on and I'm going to try them on and see which one I prefer. Um, I do actually really like this red colour, but I'm not sure if it's going to be practical with all the coats that I've got. Like, I've recently got a pink coat from Nasty Gal. I've then got this trench coat. It would go quite nicely with that, but I'm not too sure. Like, I love it. I love the colour and I would definitely wear it, but I don't know how many of my coats it's going to go with. And realistically, I'm going to have to stick a coat on over the top. So that's kind of annoying, but I do love it. I don't know. We're going to try it on and we're going to see. Because I feel like with jeans, this will look so nice. Um yeah oh it feels nice and cozy as well mm. i don't know we'll see we'll try it on but this is called the red button front cardigan so yeah if you do want this i'll leave a little link to it down below this holding this up makes my face look really weird like a weird color in the light oh that's horrible okay so that is everything that i have to show you in my pretty little thing autumn winter haul i hope you guys enjoyed that i honestly had so much fun filming it because I love autumn winter fashion, layering is the best. Um, so yeah, I already have a nasty girl autumn winter haul. If you guys wanna go check that out, I'll leave it in the description box below. Um, so yeah, if you did like this video, please do give me a big thumbs up. Let me know of, let me know of, let me know what you thought of everything that I bought. Um, and if you're gonna go buy anything, everything will be linked down below. So yeah, leave me a little comment, leave me a little like, it all, is appreciated so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye